The next guest's film is not premiering until November 21st, but if you had partaken upon all these movies that are available, you would have gotten to see his movie last night because there was a screening of it. Yes. And we are happy to have him back in our studio yet again, and he's brought you so many great uh, films in one way, shape, or uh, the other uh, over the years, up in the air. Thank you for smoking. Juno, Whiplash, just to name a few. And now, here to talk about The Front Runner, we have Mr. Jason Reitman. Yay. Good to see you again, man. It is good to see you. I just really feel bad for your audience that, you know, they were listening to all these great stories about sex and cruise, <laughs> and then you're like, let's talk about art film, guys. <laughs> well, you know, this way we can say, hey, look, we're well-rounded, and this gives a credibility even if we're not well-rounded, we get the illusion of being well-rounded. I almost buy it. <laughs> Congratulations on, on this. Uh, there's there's a lot of uh, buzz over the movie, which is called Front Runner. It's the story of Gary Hart's run towards the presidency and, and the beginning of, of, a, of a, I think, and, and as you rightly point out, and I've, I've read interviews with you about the film, it was sort of a flashpoint for when news became tabloid. And, and and things that used to sort of like, you know, like in the Kennedy years, the press sort of said, you know, you got your personal thing, we got it, we'll cover it to some extent. And then, you know, or, or even before, there were some things that just were not, let's focus on the politics and this is what we're here to talk about. But then it became something wholly other. And I remember, I remember as, you know, the Gary Hart story was unfolding and, and it, it be, it just, now, of course, we have a multitude of news sources, but. The, the country was focused. And so, like, in, in one week, a guy who looked like he was it, he was going to be the next president, it just cr came crashing down. When I heard the story, I just thought, oh, here is a thread that leads us to 2018. When we try to imagine, all right, when does this moment start? When does tabloid journalism drive into the lane of political journalism? Uh, here you have the story that is this kind of great pH test uh, that reflects both sides of the audience. Politics always circus, uh, surfaces in movies if it's done right because it's it's compelling. It can be very compelling. And, and the candidate is a perfect example. I, I have a tattoo from, <laughs> have a another, tattoo. from another <laughs> movie of the same director. Uh, Mike, so, uh, what, what is it? It's from Downhill Racers, the oh, poster from Downhill Racers. So I am awesome. a, yeah. I'm wow. really nerdy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, That's very cool. So, but is that in fact the case? <laughs> it's not cool, but I appreciate that. Uh, uh, but, but anyhow, look, yeah. uh, I, it became this way to kind of understand today. And yeah. it's this thriller of a movie that touches on gender politics, that touches on the relationship between journalists and candidates, and uh, that line between where our public life becomes our private life. Right. Before we got on this uh, conversation, we were we were talking off air. Uh, we're headed to London tomorrow. Mm. What should we do while we're in London? Are any of you guys Harry Potter fans? Oh, 100%. Well, yeah, Nick is a massive fan. Okay. We're all so, fans. They took the two stages where they shot the film at Leavesden in London, and they've turned it into this Harry Potter experience. And look, I'm a cynical guy, <laughs> right? Like, I made thank you for smoking. That's who I am. <laughs> but I filled with positive glee walking through the Harry Potter experience. Really? There. They have everything. They've, like, broken it down to, like, every one that was built, every set that was built, how they did the characters. You have Butterbeer. Uh, it's... It's sincerely magical. Uh, is it is it one of those things you got to get tickets way in advance for? Do you think or? All right, I'm gonna be a tool right now. I you just, pulled strings. I just called someone at Warner Brothers. But Son of a uh, bitch. I would so do first become a famous filmmaker, then <laughs> oh, call your connection at Warner Brothers. Yes. We're close friends with Jason Wright. <laughs> uh, my rule is always first. Be born the son of a famous director. <laughs> okay. And then right. everything yeah. will just line up perfectly. What if you're a producer on a radio show in Philadelphia and you have a guest who's been to this thing? Can you ask that person to ask somebody for something? Live on the air, of course you can okay. ask. Yeah, right. yes. <laughs>